I'm running a little bit out of time, so I don't want to redo the last video. Just wanted to show you what I said in words to prove it to you. Um, that if you plot x, y, and z in the original version, so when you use hot dogs dollar uh, type, which is a character vector uh, for the color, um, then you will not get the right result. You get an error because the beef, meat, and pork are not recognized as color names because what is expected is a variable that can be ordered and that can be um, plotted, they're used as a variable, as a categorical variable. But as soon as you um, turn it into a factor, it will work. Oops. Um, missing out one bit here. Anyway, we have one uh, last thing to do, and um, it's you know may strike you as silly, but you remember that I'm quite a stickler about references, as one should be, uh, because it's about intellectual capital, property rights, if you like, and ethics. So uh, in the reference section here, you see um, the four necessary references. First of all, we use the R program here. Um, and uh, we used, actually there's one missing, which one should also use, namely the collaboratory. Google collaboratory should also be as a reference. So I've missed out on one of them. Um, then there is the reference from the, um, for the hot dog data set. Um, uh, and here's the paper, which from which the hot dog data set comes. Um, in fact, one of these would probably be enough. We we'll probably have one of these would be enough. And if you have the choice between the um, paper that is the original, um, led to the original creation of the um, of the uh, data set or the other one, then you would probably pick this one. I have uh, quoted both. I'm just thinking about why. But the reason, of course, is that the data that I took came from USC, UCLA, but they originated in here. So um, this would be fine to use uh, because this reference does actually contain a reference to the paper itself, as you can see here. Yeah. So uh, one of these would be enough. Um, in fact, let's delete the other one. Let's delete the other one. Which would be at Google Collaboratory. It's the paper of which uh, the paper I can remember where it was, but um, so Google Collaboratory. reference. So what we want to do is um, complete the swimming pool reference. Yeah, so we have this other data file swimmingpools.txt and the question is um, how should we reference it? Um, and the problem here is that uh, it does, doesn't come just from a paper. It, has, it carries its own copyright. It carries a so-called Creative Commons copyright. So when you, um, uh, I got this data set from DataCam because they use it in their lesson. And at the bottom, I found a link. So they, they do actually reference the swimming pool text. And um, I can now go to the origin of the file, which is swimming pool locations. And I can find out here that there is a license called Creative Commons Attribution. Now, what is that? I've already opened this here for you. What this is, is a um, uh, like a toolbox where you, if you have particular things that you want your intellectual capital to be distributed with, for example, the right to share, the right to adapt, um, but also the duty to attribute and the duty to not apply any additional restrictions, then you can take these four and a bunch of other 
um, attributes and mix them into a license. And this license will then be called a Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International License. The short version is CC BY 4.0. And uh, this is, of course, a lot better, a lot easier than, um, you know, having to create your own uh, legal lingo and legal documents. So many people use this. Um, and if you don't do it, then that means that anybody who uses your data or uh, any data you find have the strictest copyright on them. So you are, by default, not allowed to do anything with the data. But um, uh, there's one condition if you use these data. You reference them and you must give appropriate credit, provide a link to the license and indicate if changes were made. Now, we didn't make any changes to the data set. We just use it as it is, but we must give appropriate credit and provide a link to the license. Now, um, uh, in order to do that, you actually have to uh, uh, dig around a little bit and find out, um, you know, where exactly the data come from. And when you do that, um, one possible way of uh, referencing this this particular thing is I'm just going to put it in here. I've copied it from somewhere. Yeah, so I've uh, basically the the origin. The intellectual capital is owned by the Brisbane City Council. So these are the Brisbane City Council swimming pools. It was uh, uh, first time created in the 29th June 2015. This is actually a data set that's updated all the time, but you only find out when you go to the origin. And um, uh, I've put the online uh, um, URL in here, which you can link to if you like. But what's really important is that you have to link to the Creative Commons attribution as well. So you have to take this license so people can actually look it up, what the conditions are, and put that license in here as a link. I'm just going to show you how that works. There's a link button here. If you do that, you can just replace the link here with the link I've just copied. That's the answer to this, uh, to this particular um, question. And that concludes our data import series for now.